We join the game with the Magic up five with the ball with eight and a half minutes left. The Magic start off with this double pin down handoff. The cutter comes around and they get this handoff. Kelly Oubre, he's trailing. Our guy Juan here has to quickly switch from guarding Vucevic to guarding Ross, which he does very cleanly. Ross is definitely in superhero mode, and he'll just pull up and shoot on Juan, who does a very nice contest without fouling. You can see Juan here realizes that if he busts his butt, he and Andrew Wiggins are going to have a two-on-one. This guy on the Magic, he's busting his butt too, but he realizes it half a second later than Juan, and that is going to give Juan the advantage. And you can just see it turns into a foot race. He's running, running, running. They're all running hard, but it's just too late for that other guy. Wiggins is running this lane. Juan is running this lane. The defender has to commit one way or the other. He will commit to Wiggins, and that means Wiggins can then just drop the pass off to Juan. And then, cool finish under pressure. The next play down. You can see there's two theories about what should be happening for the Magic. Vucevic, his theory is, hello, I'm one of the more skilled big men in this league. I'm 6'11", 260 pounds. This mouse guarding me is Juan Toscano Anderson. He's 6'6", he's 210 pounds. So I'm five inches taller and 50 pounds heavier than this guy. I should be able to pick him up and dunk him physically into the basket. So give me the ball. So that is Vucevic's theory. But unfortunately for him, he does not have the ball. And so his theory does not win. Ross gets the ball back, and <laughs> so he, Vucevic does not get the ball when he calls for it, so he's trudging up. I don't know if I'm just reading something into this body language, but there's a certain disappointment in it. He's going to set the screen and let Ross run off of it. Damian Lee is going to trail. Juan is in this drop position. It's Juan's job to contain the drive. Ross does get separation, but Juan is going to stay with him and do his best to contest. That's not a bad outcome for the defense, a contested mid-range jumper. Okay, not bad. So I told you there are two competing theories on the magic. One is the Vucevic should just take Juan and dunk him into the basket theory, and one is Terrence Ross should just go nuts and go Kobe on everybody. Here's the coach. He's definitely going to signal and point towards Vucevic. So I believe he's saying, look, just post the dude up, right? All right, if he can just keep him away from the basket and maybe use his speed to try to beat Vucevic to spots that he wants to go to, he can make him uncomfortable just enough to keep it from being a 100% shot. And that's what he does. Good contest there, straight up, and Vucevic misses his bunny. You can see him watch his shot, and he's just gonna have this look of, oh man, how did I miss that easy gimme? Juan always busts his butt down the court, hustle all the time, and this works out in really subtle ways, because here he is, he's running hard. This doesn't look like there's gonna be a man advantage, but he just runs anyway. Vucevic is probably guarding him, and he's gonna make Vucevic run, and in fact, he's just going to beat him all the way down the court which means in transition defense, you just gotta grab the nearest guy. These guys are matched up, even if it's not optimal, which means that Juan is being guarded by this fellow, which means that Vucevic has to guard the only other person left who's off camera. You can even see these two guys negotiate. Vuce is just looking around saying, uh, who am I guarding? And this guy's just gonna point and say, sorry man, you gotta take Andrew Wiggins. There, you see points, and there it is. And now that's not happy for Vucevic because Wiggins is just going to be happy to ISO him. Wiggins makes him go back and hits. There's Mulder calling for order in the court. Somehow Wanamaker ends up being behind his man. Wanamaker must have gambled for a steal and got burned. So this is actually trouble for the Warriors. There is a man advantage for the Magic if they can go fast. Juan here sees that. And even though he's supposed to be guarding Vucevic, you can see he's going to come over and switch to this man to try to stop the ball. Damian Lee in the back here has switched over to Vucevic, which is a pretty awful matchup. If the ball can come over to Vucevic, it is very possible that he will dunk Damian into the basket. So Juan's mission now is to stop the pass from getting over to this mismatch. And he does this crazy jump to just distract him and try to keep him from getting the ball over to Vucevic. 
there is not coordination here. Wanamaker is wanting to switch back to this guy. Probably would have been better for him to switch to this open guy. Juan and Wanamaker are on the ball now. There's the open person. <laughs> you can see this guy is holding up his hand saying, Hi, you may not know me, but I'm on your team, and I'm open, and I appreciate a pass over here. He's going to get into the air and hope for the best. Oh, look at that. He found the open man. That was really nice read. Alert play by Damien to switch up. So it's just a shuffle. Vucevic gets the ball in the post. Vucevic sees there's two guys guarding him. So Vucevic is looking around, seeing what's happening. One bump. Juan is anticipating a quick hook shot there, and he just puts his arms up, leans in against Vucevic. Great contest. The second Juan sees his rebound. He's running top speed. He's going to try to beat Vucevic down court. And he does. Oh, you know, he's so much faster than Vucevic. So just that hustle play. He's ahead. Vucevic is trailing behind. Look at that pass. That's beautiful. Juan sees that two guys are going to possibly come to him. If he can just hold on to the ball, he can kick it out to Ubre, who will have an open three. So this is just great court vision from Juan. But the problem is Juan just bobbles the ball there. And luckily that pass is deflected because that was looking a little dangerous, that pass. Juan, he's going to start beating himself up and saying to Ubre, oh man, this is my fault. I'm really sorry. I should have gotten you that pass. Look, you see, it's like, oh man, I should have done it. Full of regrets. Vucevic, poor guy. He is looking beat. He is covering Juan Toscano Anderson, who's just been running top speed down the court. He's wearing Vucevic out. There's Wiggins, Pachinko, and this guy into the stands. So again, Juan is guarding Vucevic, which are 5 inches and 50 pounds bigger. The Magic seem to have had enough of this whole matchup. Vucevic is going to try to force Ubre to switch onto him and for Juan to switch onto the ball handler, which is what happens. And now, the second that happens, you can see Vucevic is going to start parking his butt into Ubre's stomach and just back him into the paint. It becomes Juan's mission to stop that. He's giving space to his man in order to front Vucevic and stop the pass from getting to him. Leaning back to try to front Vucevic, Juan backing up, and then it's just the little things. He jumps out and makes himself wide just to throw off the timing of this pass for a second. This whole time, Steph is in the background. You can hear shark music. Steph knows that this entry is coming. Juan is contesting the pass. That makes it just soft enough a pass that Steph can step in and intercept this. That is nice. That is really bad for the magic. So now we have super man advantage. This is definitely five on four. It's kind of looking like a five on three at this point. We've got this matchup. This guy's come around. He thinks he's guarding Wiggins. This guy's looking at Wiggins. Somehow Steph is escaping notice. This guy's guarding Ubre. So yeah, the, the magic just screw up. Juan here, he has an open three. You can see he's looking before he shoots. He's thinking Steph Curry is open, and that looks like a high percentage shot. So he throws the ball over to Steph, who's open, and <laughs> while the ball is not even in Steph's hands, you can see he's starting to celebrate. This is definitely very advanced level of premature celebration. Juan, <laughs> the ball hasn't even reached Steph, and he's already pumping his fist. He has this whole windmill thing. And, yeah. This ball handler has a lot to think about. Vucevic has rolled, but Steph has essentially switched over to him. And that leaves this man completely open. So this man wants to dribble over for an angle to get the pass over here. What he doesn't realize is that there's shark music and Juan is over here. Juan is just watching the dribble and just waiting to pick it off as he comes. Look at the timing on this. Bang, clean strip, and then Juan, he's charging hard. Kick out to Steph. Ah, oh, that was just nice. Magic clearly have to work on their transition defense because somehow Juan drew two people. Vucevic just ran by Steph. I guess he was sort of covering Ubre. The whole thing's a mess. So anyway, Magic get lucky. Juan, you know, it doesn't always work out. He's been celebrating for like the last five seconds since the ball left his hands. But no. 